Hey guys, it's me Leo. Today I want to show you three exercises that will help you to improve your handstand. First exercise is a nice drill to improve your overall strength in your handstand and to get a great feeling of your alignment and how to build up tension, how to give your body tension in your handstand. So let's check it out. All right, I'm sorry for the setup, but I hope you can still see what I'm doing at this wall. So the first exercise, like I said, we want to walk up belly to wall. So first you have to start feeling comfortable with wall walks and with belly to wall handstands really close to the wall. Because if you're too far away, it's kind of hard to do this exercise. So let's go up to the wall and we try to have the body, I say more or less one length of your hands away from the wall. And now point your feet up. And we have two positions now in his handstand. The one position is the relaxed handstand form. That means I sink down in my shoulders, my body is touching the wall and I'm kind of relaxed in this position. I try to change from this position here to tension. That means I push out my shoulders, I tuck my hips, I squeeze my legs, my butt and now only my toes are touching the wall. And I go back into the relaxed position by relaxing here and I push. Tension, tension, tension. You can hold it for three to five seconds. Relax. And push. Tension form. And relax. So as you saw, I played around with those two positions. The relaxed position is kind of standing like this or like that a little bit. And then really go into this tension position. Important there is to make a posterior pelvic tilt. Uh, with your hips, squeeze your legs, squeeze your butt, push out your shoulders, elevate yourself as much as you can in this handstand form. All right, so you can do this exercise for reps. I would say when you push up into the tension form, stay there from three to five seconds and then relax into the relaxed position and push again. Go for five reps until you can maybe even do 10 reps or stay one minute up against the wall and work there. You can go for three or more sets, up to you. The second exercise is a great exercise to improve your balance in your handstand and to get a feeling what your legs are doing when in handstands and how to keep your hips tucked while moving your legs. So let's go to the wall. Good, for the second exercise, we try again to be close against the wall. As closer as you are with belly to wall, as easier it is to get into the balance position and of course, as closer you are to a full handstand position. So again, you walk up, belly to wall. I work again with this one length of your hands away from the wall. Now I come into my tension position, tension form. I bring away one leg and now my goal is to switch feet here. One foot is touching the wall, one foot is going away. First, you get comfortable with this position. Be aware which leg is moving, but don't move too far that you start I'm arching your back, all right? Stay in the tension with your hips. Next level would be, you can start switching like that. There is a second or a moment where no of none of your foot is touching the wall. So level one, one foot is always touching the wall. Level two, yeah, no foot is touching, no foot is touching. Level three would be that you stay in balance as good as you can and you only gently touch the wall while keeping the position of my shoulders, keeping the form and try to touch it very soft, very gentle, as good as you can. All right guys, so the second exercise you can do it as well for reps. I would say do between 10 and 20 reps. That means one foot, one, two, three, four and so on until you have between 10 and 20 reps. You can go also there for three to five sets. All right guys, the last exercise, number three, it's not really an exercise, it's more like an advice for your handstands. Grab the floor, that is very important. I see many people trying to do handstands with their hands like this and really flat on the floor. You have to imagine like this, you have no control and you have no strength to push into one of your, of your fingers to, to balance your body out. So you can use this in general, in every exercise, not only handstands, you can also use it when you perform push-ups, when you perform stuff, when you move on the floor, spread the fingers and grab the floor. So you can try to slide your hands in a little bit. Here you have the most stability in your handstands. So when I go up, 
I can really start working with my hands. You see how they are moving when I'm balancing out my handstand. They are constantly moving. So like 90% of the balance is coming then from my hands, from my wrists, if the rest of my body um, remains stable. All right, so take this advice, slide the hands in, grab the floor whenever you perform handstands, keep your hands more or less shoulder width, and also remember the index finger should be the straight line when doing handstands, so they are parallel to each other. All right, guys, so that was it with a few advices for your handstand game. Maybe it will help you to improve your handstands. If you want to know more about handstands, about movement in general, feel free to contact me or write a question in the comment section. I will see you next time in the next YouTube video. Peace.